Good hey morning. There. It's afternoon. <laughs> yeah, afternoon. <laughs> Anyway, we have the compost pile has been making or heating up for the last week. Cooking. Yes, yeah, been cooking. We started it on Saturday uh, a week ago and we added to it Sunday. Uh, I turned it Wednesday. It got up to 160 degrees and we turned it and it got up back up to 160 degrees and now it's time to turn it again. We're doing a compost pile where we're turning it every three days or after it heats up to 160. So we, um, we want it to get up to 160. Hey, Duncan, um, we want it to get up to 160 hey, twice, if possible. And if you, as you can tell by our garb, it's not 160 degrees outside here. No, in fact, it's, it's, it's really, <laughs> it's a little warm for everything I have on, but I don't like to be cold. So it's heated up, it's warmed up some today. Yeah, it was 43 a little while ago. I think it's probably closer to 50 now but we're in the south, so we're ninnies. Yeah, but anyway, uh, look, I'm gonna turn the camera around if I can figure out how to do it. <laughs> right we are cold. Yeah, there. there it is. Um, and Tommy's gonna turn it, but we're so pleased. Now we did mulch up the leaves um, when we big, put them in there. In our big new chipper shredder. Yeah, and the chipper shredder, and there's a few <laughs> little wood chips in there. We, ha we put some green bean uh, vines in there too, and some manure and some coffee grounds. But anyway, I'm, uh, well, I've, I've just wet it, and Tommy's uh, in the process of turning it now. And uh, methodology. Anyway, he's, right now he's trying to get to the middle, and you see, I don't know if you can see the dust flying, um, but anyway, the idea is to put the middle on the edges and uh, the edges in the middle. And so as he gets a layer over here, I'm going to spray it with the water hose. I can see the <clears throat> green bean vines have not composted yet. No, uh -uh. But the leaves all have, I think. And y'all, I can't really see the comments good Ooh. right now. I'm going to spray it. You, then they say the idea is you don't want it... Um, dripping wet when you squeeze it with your hands but you uh you want it moist so this is the way i've done it this is our first time to do compost but i can't see the comments because I, I i'm not i don't have my glasses on for one and um i'm watching where i'm filming so i will look at the comments in just a minute once you rake off some of those green bean vines over there yeah, where? Where? yeah. Mm -hmm. and I'm not using a tripod or anything so I'm sorry if it's a little shaky I'm trying to water and Ooh, it's bone dry up under there yeah I see we're just learning this is our first time to uh, do compost so which is crazy I mean we've been gardening forever and uh you know we've we've always had goat manure and all that kind of stuff and we've just we've threatened to do compost but we've just never done just it. never really done it i've always put leaves in my garden and stuff like that but tell them what, tell them the what more made I, you decide to finally do it what made me find i don't know what the book. oh yes i got i uh, got the book um what is the name of it i don't know but he's like the world champion tomato grower yeah he's deceased now right uh, i think so a man from alabama he wrote a book um Guinness World Book Tomatoes, I think, or something like that. I'll have to get, tell me how to put the link up on here uh, or the name of it. But um, anyway, he uh, and see how that's white right there. They said that's too dry, so you got to add water. And see, it's 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 rained here some, but it's not been raining a lot. And Tommy, I try and spread it out a little thinner than that. But um, anyway, we uh. I'm very, very pleased with how it's going. And it's very, very close. The reason I'm doing this method, see there's some more white right there. I'm doing this method because it's faster. And I tell you, I've been very, very pleased with it heating up like the way uh, it has. Because it, uh, it's really heated up really good. And they say that it makes, it makes the compost a lot quicker doing it this way, um, heating it and everything. Uh, well... They say that's your goal, and it kills the weed seeds and any fungus and um, any bad bacteria. It'll kill it. Let me uh, spray a little bit right there, too, in here. But 
but anyway i'm gonna uh i'm gonna scroll back through the comments right quick and put my glasses on and also i don't know have you put any videos out of the little piglets we've got little piglets out the ear notching video oh that's right he ago. he did he posted a video about notching the ears so um anyway hey christer um hey country living oregon style Oregon's getting some snow right now. Oh, are they? Cameron just updated his story, and I forgot where he is, but uh, uh, I can't remember where, but a pretty good amount of snow. It was kind of funny. They People in Portland kind of act like people in Brookhaven, Mississippi when it snows. They make a, <laughs> they make a run on the grocery stores and all. Um, and Brenda said it's uh, the high is 25 today. Wow. Hey, RSJ, Texas. Oh, okay. RJ, RSJ Texas said white is, uh-oh, cancel. Sorry, y'all. I pushed the wrong button. He said that uh, white is good fungus, what you want in your compost. Oh, okay. Well, I didn't know that. So. Yeah, I kind of figured it was the beginnings of some mycelium, maybe. Well, so, um, RSJ Texas, so how does the compost look after a week? Are we doing good? Hey, Julie. It looks amazing. We're pleased. It looks like it's breaking down pretty good. So, and uh, for those of y'all that maybe didn't hear the very beginning, we uh, started this a week ago today. Okay. Oh, Don, uh, Brenda is, says um, they're still covered with ice, man. Man, man, man. man. And this is uh, this is the second time it's been turned, or the third? This this is the second time it's been turned. Oh, thank you. He said it looks fantastic. Woo, good. It smells good too. Yeah, I mean, it does. Well, you know, it smells what I mean kind of like that. dirt. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't. It you know. Hey, Tina. Hey, Christy Betts. I think using that uh, hey, sugar creek chipper shredder made all the difference, though. Yeah, I'm excited about the, using the chipper shredder on this because um, the, I've read too that you know the smaller particles, of course, the quicker it's going to break down. Um, I'm tell you, I'm not seeing any of the green green beans. Uh, it's not green necessarily. No, the green you're seeing is coming off of the ground. Yeah, but um, the, yeah, I can still see the vines on the green bean from the green beans, but I don't see. It's not green anymore. Right. Last uh, Wednesday, it was green. And the little bit of green you're seeing, there's some grass and stuff on the ground. So, oh, good. I'm so... Oh, Christy says she turned compost two days ago. And Sugar Creek said it does look beautiful. I'm so excited. So, um, for those of y'all that are familiar with compost, um, with doing it this method, we're doing it uh, to where we're letting it heat up. Um, it's, it's heated up to 160 both times before we, uh, didn't it? No, maybe it just got to 150 the first time. Well, I've got was, it written it was, down. It was bumping up against, you know, I mean, bumping up against 160. Yeah. But anyway, so, you know, my goal is to be able to put this, um, use it in the high tunnel in about four weeks. So what's y'all's thoughts on that? Would, could it be ready that quick? Based on how it looks now, I yeah. don't think so. I know we got to wait for it to quit heating up and everything. And last Wednesday when I turned it, I checked the temperature of it. It was 110, and by the next day it got up to 160. So I'm keeping notes, too, on it, uh, what exactly I did. Oh, Sugar Creek said yes. Great. Oh, I hope so. I'm hoping to be able to use it uh, in the high tunnel. Christy says that's, uh... oh, yeah, Brenda said garden gold. <laughs> yeah, really. This needs to be one of Tommy's farm fitness tips, too. Turning compost is a good workout. I know. I took a picture of the turned compost um, the other day, and I was going to put on there, this is my kind of workout. <laughs> I don't like doing other kind of workout, but I don't mind doing garden work workout.
After it reaches temp again, turn it again. Yeah, and from what I've seen, it takes about a day or two. So you think I should turn, once it gets up to 160, turn it right then? Or, because I had read to let, in that book, it said um, to the, let it uh, get to 160 for two days and then turn it. So. And per Patty's instructions, I'm trying, I don't know if you guys have noticed a pattern and I'm, I may not be sticking to it exactly, but she's wanted me to take from the compost that was in the middle over here, put it on the outsides over here, and take the sides over here and put it in the middle. You know, kind of change places with it. He did a fair job. And of course, the uh, <laughs> it's automatically changing position from top to bottom. Uh, Oh yeah, Sugar Creek says do it, give it a couple days and do it again. She, Christy said her pile takes longer because it's not as hot. Yeah, and I ordered, I didn't go get my thermometer. I, I have it in the uh, high tunnel, checking the temperature in there. Uh, I just want to see what the what the ground temperature, it was, uh, what was it, almost 90 degrees in the high tunnel when we opened it, and it was 45 outside. Yeah, we should have opened it earlier today. Yeah, and so um, I'm just kind of trying to get it to see what, and it was cold last night, it was in the 30s, so that's cold for us, you know, <laughs> down south here. Um, anyway, um, I'm just wanting to see what the soil temperature is to see, because uh, I'm going to be planting my tomato plants, hopefully in about four weeks. We'll see how that is. All right, I'm going to let Tommy finish this up. Make sure you squirt it off when you get through. Let me okay. see. Anyway, and uh, we're going to walk in the high tunnel. There it is. We've got this end still closed off. Blue is watching the high tunnel. And we've got the ends open. But I want to show you my setup. Yeah, I've got the sides open. Hey, out of Goshen! But anyway, um, we still have stuff growing. There's the sugar peas there. And you see I have we have this side open here. And we have stuff still growing. Oh, there's my thermometer. Let's see how warm the soil is. Um, what does that say? 58. So that's really not, I need it warmer. Uh, wait a minute, let's see. Bobby said, I just got in from turning my new pile. Goat poo rocks for making it hot. Oh, really? Yes, I've been using my goat poop. That's what we put in there, so. This is my kale. It's done great. We've eaten it all winter. And down here is um, cabbage and that's mustard greens down there. Can you see I'm also growing some green, uh, I guess it's fungus or whatever. It has been so moist in here. It's crazy. But y'all, look what I have. Oh, hey, 7D. I didn't see you. Look at this. February, what, 9th? They finally started ripening. So, we're excited. I've already eaten one. There's another one right down there. So, they're starting to ripen. And I'm glad because uh, we're going to be pulling them up. And look, y'all, they're blooming. That is just crazy. But um, I hope my internet holds. I'm I usually don't when I walk way out. But... Um, I'm gonna have to be pulling these up. This is a cherry tomato right there. That's a uh, black cherry. I never did pull up my squash, but uh, <laughs> out of Goshen, hoop house envy. <laughs> we can come play in our hoop house, bring all the kids. In about four weeks, I could really use them to be digging my little holes for tomato plants. And you see, this green stuff is not grass. That's that fungus or whatever, but this is grass. So we do have grass started, and look, this clover growing. But look how easy. It comes up really easy. But um, we've got to get in here and get the grass out. This is what's left of the green beans because um, uh, we use that in our mulch. And I, well, there's still some we could pull off. I'm going to use the tomato plants. I've read about it. Um, there's pros and cons, but I've read that if, if, if you let it get hot enough, that it will kill any fungus. Oh, let me come over here and show you. Uh, this is uh, Brussels sprouts right there. I forgot to tell y'all that. They haven't made any, and my goal, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plant my tomato plants in between them because I really, really 
want to uh, make some Brussels sprouts. Um, but this is my lettuce here, and we've been able to pick it. It don't grow as fast in the winter time, and I've uh, I've just picked it yesterday or day before, and so you see it's wanting to get leggy and go to seed. This one is going to seed here, and I'll let it do that and hopefully harvest some of the seeds. Um, and this is, I can't say the name of this broccoli, but it's that stem broccoli that's R-A-B-B -B something, something like that. Anyway, I like it. It's good. We've been eating it in salads. Of course, there's not that much. And then, um, but you see all the grass? And this is weeds. We've got, we're going to get, we're supposed to be getting the weeds out today and um, doing mulch with them. I mean, more compost with them. Uh, anyway, and here's parsley. Parsley has done good. So, uh, let's see. I've got, I took my glasses off so I can't see the comments. Let me put them back on. You showed them the tomatoes? Look I the tomatoes. showed them the tomatoes. They just look amazing, uh, don't they? It's February. Well, we got ripe tomatoes. Thanks, Rural Readiness. Hello. We need to pick them. Bobby says, Bobby Seller Home says that the main stuff they use is uh, goat poo leaves and uh, free coffee grounds. But uh, he was saying that it uh, makes good hot mulch. Yeah. Oh, this is Tomas's play area. <laughs> the box of toys. I'm sorry, I'm looking at the comments. I wasn't paying attention to where I had the uh, camera pointed. Have you seen have you show on the uh, chipper shredder? No, I haven't. This is our chipper shredder right there. I'll go stand next to it for size comparison. Thanks, Rural Readiness. Well, I'm gonna tell you, we really like it. We're gonna be using it again today. This is a shoot we put the uh, sticks in, and then um, up there is for the leaves, down up in there. We need to do a video while we're doing it too, because we didn't do that. We got a, we bought one that it's rated to take four inch limbs. Um, of course, you know, Thanks, we, we use a wood burning stove, so four inch limbs are firewood around here. But my thinking is, if you buy one that's rated for four inch limbs, then it ought to eat up two inch limbs all day long. And it sure does. We we mm -hmm. stuck some in there, you know, probably up to three inches that would barely fit in there, and it chewed them up like. I don't oh, know. it was so, so great. Hey, out of Goshen says hello. Out of Goshen. And guess Howdy. what? Well, They're going to be here in four weeks to help us plant the tomato plants. All right. Yeah. Yeah. So, hey, Sherry. Uh, this here's what's left of our goat poop. Tommy's gonna have to go get more in my wheelbarrow. And look, this is what I want to show y'all in here. It's the main reason I came in here. Here, oh, let me show it at a distance. I know it's hot. You see how I've got a table set up, and I have uh, electric blanket, and then I have plastic, and then I have my tent. This is I forget the name of this white stuff, but to cover it. Anyway, so that is where I've been growing my little tomatoes because they need to go. They need to go in the ground in about four or five weeks. So, uh, do you start tomato seeds? Yes, that's what I'm doing, right? This is where my tomato seeds that I started. I guess I wasn't clear on that. Yeah, but this is them, and they've been planted for... Um, 58 degrees. Yeah, that's, I, I've looked at that. Um, can take it out? Yeah, you can take it out. Uh, I can't remember. I think they've been planted two weeks, haven't they, Tommy? I think so. But um, anyway, so I'm very, very, very pleased with the growth uh, that they're growing, and uh, I just wasn't sure. And we have the electric blanket. See, let's see if I can. Can you it's raise just, that up? Yeah, I just wanted you to explain to them. It's not a grow mat. Yeah, that's I it. don't. It's not a grow mat. It, this is an electric blanket, so that's why I have it covered really good with plastic. You paid what? Twenty bucks. I paid thirty dollars for that, and you know those grow mats are so expensive. But I did that. No, I'm leaving it covered. I know, I was going to show them the... Oh, you want to show them the tent that I made? No, I'm showing them the... <clears throat> it's a sunbeam. Yeah. And the re one of the reasons we selected this one is because of this right here. A lot of electric blankets have an automatic shut off of like three hours, right? Yeah, yeah. But this one will will run for... Ten uh, hours. Ten hours. Do you have it on high on purpose? No, it's just flashing because it's turned off. Oh, okay. Because uh, it was on low. I just do it on low. She keeps it on low, <clears throat> and we can turn it on at night, and, and it's on. Oh, we don't have to worry about it. It's on for 10 hours. Hey, Bobby. 
thanks for joining us. You better go help the wife. Um, all right, Sherry, I think, said what kind. All right, I've tr I've tried some different ones. Of course, I'm doing high tunnel tomatoes, and I'm doing celebr these are I've got 100 celebration plants. Well, and all of them's not up, so I'm hoping to have close to 100. This one's Marion. Uh, then I have Big Beef. Uh, I've talked to a man, Dog Trot Farms. He was on our last YouTube live uh, that he uh, he was uh, you know, writing, he was watching, and he told me he would be glad to help me, so I've been in contact with him, and so he told me, uh, the different seeds he plants, and he does plant, he sells a lot of big beef, so I got that, and then, um, I have Mortgage Lifter, and that says Laurel Blue Ox Heart, this is a few heirlooms, I didn't do mostly heirlooms in here, I'm gonna do them outside, uh, this one's Pink Berkeley, um, Homestead, Big Boy, thanks Darlene, and let's see, Sunray is that one. So I've got a few heirlooms. That's about 36. Hey, Valerie D. Uh, a few heirlooms, but uh, then the rest are going to be in the Marion. But uh, the rest, they're hybrids. And uh, the Celebration is a determinant tomato. Um, you know, I'm planting these in the high tunnel for the farmer's market. And so I want them all to come in around the same time. Um, so that's why I um I have um planted the 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 more of the hybrid varieties because um I want to I want to with the heirlooms they're indeterminate and they just keep coming in. So anyway, um let's see. Donna says, "Should I start 6 weeks before the last frost date?" Um yes, 6 to 8 weeks is good. 6 to 8 weeks and um I don't, I've got to, I haven't started my tomatoes that are going in the garden yet, but that's going to be in a few weeks for me because I plant them out in the garden in April. So I'll do that six to eight weeks. So Tommy got it turned. This is where we started on this side. So you wet it down good? Uh-huh. So it's 60, almost about 65 degrees now. Um, well, it's climbing because when I stuck it in there, it was 58. Oh, okay. So he said it's climbing. And what was the temperature in there was 58 in the ground, the ground in temperature the tunnel, in the high tunnel. tunnel. Yeah. And uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to put some black plastic on uh, the ground to cover up one of my rows. Let's turn this around. Um, I'm going to do the black plastic on one of my rows and just see... Uh, how fast I can warm it because I know even if I have nice pretty tomato plants and I can have it warm in the high tunnel if the ground's not warm it needs to be I believe about 60 degrees uh, consistently uh, when you plant your tomatoes and so if my ground temperature is not that warm I'm gonna I think I'm going to thank you Northern Ohio homestead um, I think I'm gonna put the black plastic down I would rather not do the black plastic but I will if it means that I can get the early crop of tomatoes. And see, my goal is to have tomatoes the last weekend in May. Um, I believe the farmer's market's going to open then. So It's the second week of February. We already got some. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And those tomatoes are from the fall. I planted them kind of late so they didn't uh, ripen before it got real cold. We were expecting to have tomatoes in December. That's what we wanted to have. But anyway, we're Wait, what was so we'll, crazy? We'll they, take tomatoes in February. Yeah, what was so crazy was... They got to the size that they're at now. Yeah, they've green, got a little bit bigger. Maybe, though. maybe a little bit. But the point is, they hung on that vine green <laughs> oh, yeah. for how long? Two months. Two months. Two months. Two yeah. months. They were like dormant, you know. And we had a little warm spell, and that's all it took. Bam! Yeah. We walked out there one day, and we had some ripe tomatoes. Yeah, starting to turn. Yeah, it's crazy. Um, and they taste like tomatoes. Yes, I'm very pleased with the taste. Darlene says, uh, that's what Tommy was just saying, uh, that Oregon was getting snow. And uh, our oldest son lives up there, and that's what he said that he had put on Facebook or on his story, that they were getting snow. Yeah. So he was, she says, all over the state, and says it's 22 in Fort Wayne. Well, it's uh, what time, what's the temperature now? Right now? It's... it's I'm, I'm According dressed, to Apple, it's 50 degrees right yeah, now. Yeah, so it's 50 here, and in the sun, it feels really nice. Um, I need to take off a little bit of my my warm gear, probably. Yeah, I'm sweating. <laughs> but anyway, so we just wanted to share with y'all what we're doing today on Saturday. Uh, Tommy turned the mulch pile. We're going to start working on grass in the high tunnel. We've already knocked I mean, not the mulch pile. I keep calling it a mulch pile. Compost, Compost pile. pile. 
but um anyway so we're going to make another compost pile hopefully with the grass and stuff that we take out of the high tunnel and i, I left some lunch before i do anything yeah i left some giant mustard leaves that are kind of uh, just too big i'm going to put those in the compost and i'm going to start pulling up some of those tomatoes that don't have tomatoes on it i know you hate to see them go no if they don't have tomatoes on it that's fine hey the white picket fence um Anyways, uh, Sugar Creek says, did we have fried green tomatoes? No, I'm not crazy about fried green tomatoes. And Tommy's not either. But so we rather have ripe ones. So. It, doesn't, it doesn't fit my nutrition plan right now. <laughs> fried just about anything. We're going to have fried chicken one day. I've got yeah, one chicken fine. left from our harvest when we had our chickens. And I'm going to fry it. Okay. I've been thinking about it. Okay. Anyway, but... Ooh, high of 21 here today. Nice and warm. <laughs> oh. yeah, right. I'm glad I'm here and not there. Yeah, enjoy your high of 21. Yeah. But anyway, all right. Well, it was good to uh, be back with y'all uh, for a little while today. And we're fixing, I guess Tommy's fixing to go eat. I'm and go eat. I may take a rest and then we're going to be back at it this afternoon. Yep. Anyway. Okay. You know, I've forgotten how to turn this off. Mm, let me touch something. I need it either. Where's the X? There it is. All right. All right. Uh, Lots of snow. I don't know if you're talking about us, Donna. We're not in Michigan. We're in Mississippi. You may be talking yeah, she, to somebody else. Yeah, she probably else. meant to say Mississippi. Oh, no, no. She was talking to Ida Goshen. All, All right. right. We Thanks, Sugar too, Creek. Sugar Thank Creek. you, guys. We'll see you next time at Alderman Farms. Bye. Bye-bye.